Hello everybody, Happy New Year. I wish all the best for you. I wish the 2014 year is really good for you and your family. Thank you for watching my video. Please, first, please subscribe my channel for uh, support me to continue the e-learning. The second, I wanna teach you the SPSS special analysis. Now I wanna show you how to can uh, analyze multiple regression correlation method. This is my sample size. Uh, my sample size. Uh, I use the uh, IBM SPSS 20. I think no different. Every version you can use. Uh, but uh, I use the new one. Uh, my sample size is uh, 172. Uh, I get from the questionnaire. This is uh, my project dissertation for master. Okay. Uh, you use the multiple regression correlation when. Uh, you have a one dependent variable and some ind independent variable. That means uh, for multiple regression, your dependent variable only one, but your independent maybe three, four, five, two, more than two. You must use the multiple regression correlation. Okay, we go to analyze and. Uh, Regression, linear. Okay, my dependent variable uh, here is, uh, for example, uh, age or gender, for example, gender. And my independent variable uh, is. Uh, Direct marketing, personal selling, advertisement, public relation, sales promotion. If you see, I have one dependent variable, gender, but my independent variable is five uh, data. Direct marketing, personal selling, advertising, public relation, and sales promotion. This is about the marketing uh, any data you can use. Uh, here you must go to uh, uh, options and uh, no need to options, uh, only go to uh, statistics. Your confidence interval must uh, 95%. That means uh, your significance mu uh, must uh, less than uh, 0 0.05. And you uh, tick uh, descriptive and uh, other, I don't know, other uh, aesthetic if you want to use, for example, covariance uh, matrix and other that you can use. But for me, only need the interval 95%, that means my significance and p-value and the descriptive continue please continue and uh, this is uh, uh, your uh, plot if you like uh, to have a plot you can uh, for example you can uh, for y uh, y Z resid and for uh, X spread. Okay, continue. And histogram. This is for your uh, plot. If you like, uh, you have the plot and uh, the species show you to pl uh, the plot. You can uh, use this one. If you don't like, only uh, you use, uh, for example, correlation. Uh, table and regression, no need this one. Okay. Now you click on OK.
it's need a uh, need a time. Okay. This is uh, the first uh, table. Is uh, here is uh, which analysis you use? My interval ninety five percent. I don't know the scatter plot, histogram, everything here. Okay, this is the regression. Uh, your descriptive statistic table, this one, uh, and the, your sample size, and this is your correlation uh, tables. Uh, I use the Pearson correlation here, and uh, my sample size, and this is the p-value for every methods. This is your variable inter remove no need I think. This is your model summary. This is your R square R and adjust R square. Maybe you must uh, use this one for I don't know your uh, statistic and for your project. And the important thing is the ANOVA table for you. This is your significant. That means your p value. Here is less than uh, 0.05. That means uh, you accept the hypothesis. That means you have the relation between dependent variable and independent variable. And this is your coefficients uh, tables. And this is the residual statistic. And this is your histogram chart and this is your scatter plot I like this the important thing your significant here is really important your significant uh, or p-value here is less than 0.05 that means you accept the uh, hypothesis and here that means the relationship between gender in your dependent variable and this one have the positive relation this is really easy and uh, if you practice some you can uh, learn easy and this is your p-value for every if you wanna know uh, for every one p-value you can see for example for direct monitoring your p-value is this one for uh, personal cell this one for advertisement for public relation and for sales promotion for every one you can for example gender with direct marketing this one gender with personal selling this one gender with advertisement this one p-value and gender and public relation this one for every uh, uh, data you can uh, see the p-value but the important p-value and uh, your project p-value for accept the hypothesis or not this from ANOVA table this is really important this one must less than uh, 0 0.05 uh, and this is the uh, your freedom and this is your freedom if you wanna know uh, thank you for watching my uh, video uh, and please subscribe my channel this one not really easy but not really difficult I think you can uh, do it for your project uh, and your analysis easily I wish all the best for you. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel.